the chairman of South African Wheelchair Rugby and South Africa's most capped player, Victor Batendach. Clyde, I'm going to start with you. For our viewers who have never experienced wheelchair rugby before, how does it work? Well, wheelchair rugby is a very interesting and fantastic sport for people in chairs to play. It's a full contact sport, as in chair against chair. Um, it's four side and it's played on a typical basketball court size field indoors. Uh, four side, as I mentioned, and typically it's for quadriplegics and other dis uh, more severe disabilities. Um, so the, the goal is to score a goal between two cones on either side. Um, the, it takes four quarters, uh, a game lasts about an hour and a half, although each quarter is only eight minutes long. Now, t tell us how many international teams there are that uh, you're able to compete with as well. Internationally, there's about 28 teams worldwide, um, and we fall into the Asia Oceania zone where we compete with the top teams, or the top eight teams, um, which are Japan, New Zealand, Australia. Australia's number two in the world at the moment, and uh, we play against them. So we have the Oce Oceania next year coming up. And what sort of relationship does uh, South African wheelchair rugby have with SARU, the governing body? At the moment, uh, SA Wheelchair Rugby is affiliated to SARU, um, which happened in the last two years. And it's, it's certainly been a great door opening for us, and we're thoroughly enjoying our affiliation to them. Victor, as, as a player, just uh, tell us a little bit about the physicality. You know, our Springboks always talk about uh, the physical nature of the game. We've now heard Clyde talk about full contact sport. How tough is it? It's pretty tough to get into wheelchair rugby and play internationally. Um, the nicest thing about wheelchair rugby internationally is the heat. We live for, for that full contact, making contact with other guys um, in specially designed wheelchairs. Um, we, when we make contact, it's, it's basically to hit another person out of a wheelchair um, and um, go and score a goal, obviously. And, and it, it brings a lot back to, a dis to your disability. Um, when you have people around you that you can actually go up to and measure yourself in your disability uh, when, you, when you compete in wheelchair rugby. But you must be a, a source of great inspiration as well. We, we've seen a number of stories this evening about players who have been injured playing rugby. They've been supported by the Chris Berger, Petra Jackson Players Fund. Everyone is a source of inspiration. None of you have uh, sat back and said, well, I'm not going to do anything. You've got out there and are, are providing a source of inspiration. It is. Uh, as a sport, wheelchair rugby can, can mean a lot to, to everybody with a disability and even more so for, for the families around these people. We have got quite a few members from the Kersberger Fund that plays wheelchair rugby. And um, we can see how much it means to them after having an injury such as this, um, thinking that they'll never be able to compete again um, actively, coming into wheelchair rugby where they compete, where they can feel the crunch of the game again, being active, having contact, um, with wheelchairs and getting a rid of a lot of all that build-up frustration. So it's, a, it's actually a, a mental as well as a physical build-up that you achieve when you play wheelchair rugby. Clyde, just quickly before we move on, how do people who are interested in getting involved in the sport get hold of you or your organization? There's numerous ways you get hold of us. Uh, we, we're on Facebook. Um, so South Africa Wheelchair Rugby is our page. If not, they can email us at admin at SAWCR. Coza, um, or Twitter at SAWCR. So we're all multimedia, we, we are out there on the net. Um, we have a web page as well, www.sawcr.coza. Thank you, Clyde. Uh, thank you very much to you both. It's uh, a wonderful initiative from South African Wheelchair Rugby.